Hi, I'm Jason Franchuk, sports reporter for the Daily Herald. I'm here at the Marriott Center on Saturday afternoon where BYU defeated Colorado State 92-73 to open conference play. I think any conference wins a big win, especially the first one. And in order to, to win a conference championship, you got to win at home. And that's we're kind of setting that tone by getting a big win. And we got to go and and go in a tough environment on Tuesday and play a good UNLV team. And it's going to be a big game for us. It's a coach. You no, know, coach made a big uh, big point when he said that conference time is a whole new season. And you know, I had that in the back of my mind, and I was like, you know what? That little shooting slump I went, um, you know, it's gone because a brand new season. And um, I was just excited, you know. I was happy that we're playing at home, and you know what? We have the little the little deal that we haven't lost you no know, one back to back yet since Coach Rose took over, and that was really important for us. And at the same time, we had the the home winning streak to defend. Trent said I got hot, but I only got hot because he got hot. Because every time every time Trent's going, that's gonna open the floor for everybody. And I was just the receiver of a lot of good extra passes. Chris Miles sitting here to my right did an amazing job when I got those two fouls early in the first half of coming in and we didn't miss a beat and you know that's what we need out of our out of the guys coming off the bench is you know to come in and produce and that's exactly what he did and a lot of other guys did as well. I thought that the Trent and Lee and uh, Jonathan you know really did a good job of leading us tonight and they scored well and uh, like I said Chris Miles gave us good minutes I thought Chris Collinsworth gave us good minutes uh, Ben and Sam were really solid trying to guard those two guards. Those guards were a handful, so I was pleased with how he played. BYU improved to 12-4 and four overall. It's their 40th consecutive home win. That active streak is currently second right behind Memphis. BYU made it look pretty easy tonight despite a few struggles in the first half and what was really an ugly game. Jonathan Taverneri, Trent Playstead each had 25 points, combining to make 20 of 32 shots from the field for BYU. Taverneri had an interesting night. He was supposed to start. There was a little mix-up in the uh, scorebook, and so he ended up coming off the bench. Chris Collinsworth, the freshman, got the start instead. Taverneri got into the game about two minutes in. No big deal. He came in. He hit five of nine three-pointers. Really got back in a rhythm that the team has been lacking lately, and, and Taverneri was excited to do that. This is the kind of night you start conference play. It was ugly early. Colorado State hung around, got, got to around a four-point game with about a minute and a half left in the first half, and that's when the Cougars really went on a tear. Taverneri had a three-point shot. Collins, Chris Collinsworth had a couple free throws. He had a follow basket. All of a sudden, it's a halftime 11-point lead for the Cougars. If you count the first three minutes of the second half, BYU went on a 19-0 run to put away the game. Up next, it gets a lot tougher for BYU back on the road. The Cougars have lost their last two road games, Boise State and Wake Forest. They'll go down to UNLV where this team has not had a lot of success lately. So they'll try and get back on the right track on the road, keep going in conference play, and, and see where it goes from there. I'm Jason Franchuk. Thanks for tuning in to Daily Herald TV.